Welcome to another episode of The Jam Session. Yay! So welcome to another episode of The Jam Session. I'm uploading this a little late. It's been a very busy week and I'm going to tell you a couple of excerpts of my week. This week and one of my third year junior high teachers had a demonstration class in our English class. So that basically means all of the teacher all of the English teachers in my city came and watched a normal period class of me and my teacher and one of our third year classes. When I say normal, I mean it was normal as in it was 50 minutes, which is very rare in my school that a class is actually 50, 50 minutes. It's very often 45 minutes and they never tell me when which schedule is being used, but I've been figuring it out slowly throughout this three months when we are having a normal schedule. And I think it's maybe been like 10 times total in the entire time I've been working here for three months. The whole idea of a demonstration class was very strange and foreign to me because of the fact that all of the classes, except for this one San Nense third year class, got to go home. So they all got to leave school and this homeroom had to stay and we had to do a class with them that we have basically been preparing for for weeks. It was more of like a performance than a class, I think. In one classroom there was 30 students, me, my JTE, and all of the other English teachers in my city, as well as some of some representatives from the Board of Education and all of the other ALTs that work in junior highs in my city. So there was about like 65 people standing in this room. Well, the students were sitting, but all the teachers were standing in the room for the entire time and it was very cramped and uncomfortable. But thankfully, I was able to kind of block them out and focus on the students, which is probably the best tactic and other ALTs and my supervisor said I did really well so I'm guessing that's a good thing unless they're all lying to me. But yeah I was so relieved when that class was over afterwards me and a couple of ALTs went out to get dinner and it was just oh my god the pressure off my shoulders after that was over was amazing. So amazing. The rest of the week went pretty normally but on Saturday I went to a lake in northern Japan called Lake Tawada. It is very beautiful, especially at this time of year. It's one of the recommended places to go to see the leaves changing. So me and a couple of ALT went and took the three hour drive up to Lake Tawada and, you know, explored and had a nice time. We saw some interesting things. Or should I say we saw some beautiful scenes since that is what my Japanese students always tell me in English oh you can see many beautiful scenes on the way up I actually pulled the car over because I thought I saw a waterfall and yes there was a waterfall just like randomly on the side of the road on the way up to Lake Tawada so it was really cool and we explored that for a little bit and then we went to the lake all day we were walking around the little like touristy area around Lake Tawada and saying, man, why is everything say like, oh, Aomori produce, Aomori apples, Aomori, like, this is Akita, why is everything say Aomori, have some Akita pride, Akita, why are you pretending to be Aomori? You know, had dinner and we relaxed and we went to an onsen and after the onsen, while preparing to get home, we were like, oh, shoot, while looking at Google Maps, because turns out, we were in Aomori. For the record, we were literally only like just over the border into Aomori. So us being really confused about why there's no Akita Ken stuff anywhere in this area is only kind of embarrassing. Also to be fair, before we got to Lake Tawada, we stopped at an apple shop that was all like Aomori apple, Aomori apple, and that was in Akita and we were confused about that. I think that's where it started. So yeah, that was my uninteresting week. I'm sorry I didn't upload a more interesting video, um, but it's been a pretty tiring time. But remember, another day, another adventure. I'll see you later, Josh, and I will keep you updated with my life on Facebook and Instagram with all of the exciting things that I do here in Japan.